Okay, we're going to talk about pancuronium. I don't know a lot about it, so let's discuss the case. An eight-year-old patient with cystic fibrosis is admitted to the hospital for treatment of pneumonia. The attending pulmonologist would like to perform a bronchoscopy, bronchoscopy in order to obtain biopsies and mucus samples, but he will require the aid of anesthesia to relax the patient. You, as the anesthesiologist, are asked for assistance in providing adequate neuromuscular blockade for this short procedure. You decide to use a non-polarizing neuromuscular blocker, which is short-acting and easily reversible, and thus it is quite appropriate for use in this situation. So let's talk about this. Pancuronium. Mechanism of action, it is a non uh, non-depolarizing neuromuscular blocker that acts to competitively bind nicotinic receptors at the neuromuscular junction. Uh, pancuronium does not activate the nicotinic receptor but instead it acts to prevent acetylcholine from binding to and activating these receptors thereby causing the neuron to remain inactivated with resulting inhibition of muscle contraction. Clinical uses. Pancuronium is used as an adjunct to general anesthesia induction to reduce skeletal muscle contraction for the facilitation of endotracheal intubation. Side effects, hypertension, tachycardia, prolonged respiratory depression. Other, the effects of pancuronium can be reversed with the administration of a cholinesterase inhibitor. For example, neostigmine. Neostigmine acts to increase the levels of acetylcholine in the neuro neuromuscular junction and thereby helps to overcome the competitive binding of pancreonium to nicotinic receptors. Okay, so remember that it is used as an adjunct to general anesthesia induction.